Officers are still standing guard at the apartment of the shooter. This is just a few minutes down the road from the college campus. Yeah, Chris Woodard is there with the very latest this afternoon. Chris? And last night, this entire complex was surrounded in crime tape, and there were investigators pouring all over the area. Now, it's been quiet most of the morning this morning, but about two minutes ago, investigators did show up in these vehicles, just walked back into that apartment. Now, neighbors here tell us that Chris Harper Mercer lived here with his, mer with his mother. One neighbor tells us that she saw him actually dump three baskets of clothes near the dumpsters Wednesday, like he was getting rid of all of his stuff. She says gardeners also saw him run out of the building Wednesday about half an hour before the shooting and jump the fence. We also now know that seven of those 13 weapons, as you just heard, recovered by the ATF, recovered right here in the apartment, along with a significant amount of ammunition. And we talked to a neighbor who said she thinks that she saw a handgun at one point in time, but didn't ask any questions. Uh, another neighbor describes being very freaked out when she saw the photo of the shooter on the news last night, had talked to him while walking her dog. She says her friend in the complex actually gave the shooter's mother a ride downtown at one point, and she shared some information that also now looking back is concerning. But when she was riding with the mother, she had mentioned how depressed her son, they were talking about all different things, and she had mentioned her son had been pretty depressed for quite a while. And then they met later, and she was introduced to him at their house, and she, the mother mentioned how he just stays on his computer behind his closed door in his room all the time. Uh, we've also learned that CNN is reporting that the shooter served in the U.S. Army for a short time, was discharged for unknown reasons. They're also reporting that investigators found writings in this apartment. Uh, back here live now, these are those dumpsters that one neighbor says she saw him set three baskets of clothes in just the day before the shooting. And again, just a few minutes ago, investigators did arrive back on scene here and have gone into that apartment. We'll keep you updated on the situation here in Winchester as it develops. Live in Winchester, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News.